It's 15 on this on the what's the 8th today? Beautiful La Jolla. That's how you say it. I thought it was La Jolla. <laughs> this is Jocelyn, the camera lady, coming over here. Anyway, on. on to a big fishing trip, huh? Mm -hmm. You guys ready? Let's do it. Mm -hmm. And look what uh, Taco made this morning. Mm -hmm. Some deliciousness. You've seen that on a video. Spam Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so you guys ready? You're going to catch something big today. Hopefully, big one. Because look at all these things that Taco prepared. Got the sushi rice. Got a bunch of stuff in here. All right, we made it. Taco, thanks so much for setting this up. Yeah, of course. And Hirosan, are you ready? Yeah. Jocelyn? Yes. And this is Captain Mark? Ready. Mark, give us a little ready shout out on your business and your boat. This is San Diego Saltwater Fly Fishing, 23 foot center console Key West, um, 200 horsepower. We're gonna go look for tuna today. Blue fin, yellow fin, and yellow tail. Okay. That's the name of the game. And if not, what's our backup plan? There is no backup plan. We're gonna get it done. Okay. <laughs> or Mako Shark is a possibility. Uh, not not today. We Mako Shark would have to be a completely separate day. Okay. Um, that's one of the things you set up for the day. You've got to dedicate to it. Can't really jump around with it. So, All right. Cool. We'll stick to the tuna and the yellowtail plan for today. All right. And we have the Mexican fishing licenses too. You do. You got Mexican yeah. fishing permit. We got it here. Uh, and the one local set. too. You got your day license. Yep. And uh, we're gonna make a, probably about an hour run out, 23 to 27 miles, somewhere right around there to the zone I want to work. Head south, we got a bit of a south wind coming this morning. Should be pretty mellow out there right now. As that picks up, we're gonna work our way south to north and come back in with a west wind. So, should be a relatively great day on the water. Um, little wind this afternoon, which is just fine. And Mostly what we're looking for and gonna see today is gonna be tuna up on top, boiling, um, bird schools we call it, and, uh, and trolling for them. When these fish push the bait up top, come up and start boiling, start breathing, we're gonna try and get in front of those stools and throw some, some poppers at them. Poppers, stick baits, and uh, surface irons, we call it. Hopefully get a good reaction bite from them. Okay. It's not so much we're matching what the fish, what, what exactly what they're eating, but we're getting a reaction bite at them while they're, while they're up, they're, they're feeding, and they're in the mood. Other than that, we'll run some trolls, a five spread troll today, cedar plugs, and some squid skirts. See if we can't pick up some of the smaller type yellowfin on that. Yellowtail is going to come from stopping on kelp patties, big floating kelp patty. Um, that's usually usually where we're going to get it, not too much on the open water. So once we find some patties, we find a good sized patty, we'll check and see if there's some fish on it. That's where we'll stop, throw some baits um, on the patty, put some yellowtail. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. I'm excited. Back to Outdoor Chef Life, I'm Taku, and this is Chef Hiroyuki Terada. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, and we made it. We're out here in San Diego, and we took off from Mission Bay area, and now we're heading down south, uh, more into a little bit of Mexican waters, and we're going to be fishing for tuna today, mm. and hopefully we can get some bluefin tuna, maybe yellowfin, maybe yellowtail. Well, let's see what happens, sure. huh? Sure. Yeah. I'm really excited. For the sashimi. Yes. The sashimi. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another <laughs> catch and cook. So this is our day three mm. of our collab this weekend. Right. So day one, day two, successful. Now, day three. Yeah. I think we do it. Gambate. Gambate does that. Hey. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited to catch some tuna. Yes. I think we can do it. Three <laughs> to three. Don't don't <laughs> oh yeah. Alright guys, let's All right. do it. Let's do it. So what's the secret here, Mark? Secret right now? Yeah. You have to get these plastic things off so the hook sticks in the fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a new lure. <laughs> okay, this is Captain uh, Mark. But this is a popper. Midnight black. Let's see if Taku can uh, cast this thing. If we can get close enough to the tuna, we're gonna be throwing these into the tuna. And hopefully get them to react to okay. uh, the pot. That's it, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the stuff. Pop. Yeah. Pop. Pop. Let it get back up. Right. Oh, 
those are belugas. You see that? How big yeah. the dorsal is? Will they bite this bait? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. <laughs> See those jumping out of the water. Oh, beautiful cast. Of action right in front of us. Wow, coming in and out of the water. You guys see that? Right about there. Look at that. Coming up on it. Look at that. That is out of control. Wow. Coming up on the spot. Another 25 yards or so. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is huge. Look what's happening out there, guys. Can you see that? Right along there. For the size of a football field. And it's out of control. That is nuts. Holy crap. Taco, you ready? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh. What the heck? It's crazy. Look at all these fish.
Look at this out here. Is all tuna. Look at this. Oh, they're just jumping and get them. Here, they're right in front of us. You see all these fish? Oh my god. It's crazy. If we had a huge net, we'd catch them all. crazy there are so many on that area and this whole area too look at this we're right on top of it look at these fish crazy they're literally about 20 feet in front of us oh Good, good, good. He's on. He's still good. Be ready. You're going to have to move around the boat, guys. He's coming up. He's coming up. He's coming up. All right. See him. See him. Nice. Oh, yeah. Take your time. Take your time. Around the Oh yeah. Nice. He's right here. Yeah. He's right here, he's right here. Nice. Heads up guys. Look okay. out. Yeah, yeah. Good, Give me good. some line. Oh, 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 There's a freaking butterball right there, dude. Oh, 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 Oh yeah! I thought he was like way out there. Yeah. Like, hey, no, he's, he's here. here. I was like, he's right here. What? He's right here. What? I know you're pressed. Oh, baby. 50 pounder? 50 pounds. Wow. Wow. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Good job, good job. That fucker good, didn't ya? Got him good. That good, didn't ya? We got sushi yeah. tonight. One in the box, boys. All right. Bravo, bravo. I thought they're going to be Yoshinaya again, you know? <laughs> <laughs>
be all right. There we go. So this is, you know, so he gaffed it here right in the back, but usually, you know, like in Japan when they catch it, they'll gaff it mostly in the head so it won't ruin any of the meat. Right here, because, you know, so, since it's kind of dug into the meat here, we'll probably have to cut this part off a little bit. So Chef here, he's going to cut off the collar right now. This is the kama, bluefin collar. There's a lot of meat there as well. And this bluefin is uh, 40, 50 pounds, so it's not gonna be like super fatty, but oh yeah, it still has that kamatoro. Oh, it still looks kama. nice. Tuna kama, wow. Tuna kama bluefin. Though. Looks good, huh? Yeah. Is that expensive part too? Oh, yeah, yeah, kamatoro. So here we're doing a gomai oroshi. そう。魚魚。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん
spongy. Kind of bouncy. Right? Yeah, bouncy yeah. and spongy, I think. Because this is way fresh. It's like human it's flesh. Mm. How do you describe that taste? Mm. I've never had tuna like that. Really? Yeah. Because it's... Okay, so this... The thing is... It's almost too fresh. And I... I yeah, so we we're just saying... That it is actually too fresh and to it's eat. It's really enjoyable. Not, not what we're accustomed to. It's anyway. still good. But it's, it's so fresh that it's very chewy. It's like live meat. And it's like live flesh. Yeah. But if you age it, you know, a couple days, then it's gonna the meat will become soft. Yeah. It'll become tender and it'll just break apart in your mouth. Right. But the flavor is really good. Here was on making the giri with you know, taco. This tuna is so fresh. Fresher than we've ever seen it. This is just a couple hours old. Yes. Very, and very fresh. We're here at Shelter Park in San Diego. What a beautiful backdrop to make. Sushi. Itadakimasu. 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 Enjoy. Mm. From sea to table, that's what this is. From sea to sushi. Yeah, it's bouncy. <laughs> yeah. Spicy tuna. Spicy tuna roll. Spicy tuna roll. Yes, yeah. Wow, looks great. It feels well, it tastes right away. Yeah, it tastes right away. Finger looking good. Mm hmm. Mm. How's it, Harold? Mm. 
It looks great. Yes, on. Tasting, tasting. Tasting. <clears throat> mm. I like the seaweed outside. You like the seaweed outside? Very nice. Very flavor. Mm-hmm. Always the seaweed outside. You can you get to taste the seaweed yeah. more. So, I don't know. Traditionally, I think us Japanese people, we like it better. But I think the reason that in America, we do a lot of seaweed uh, inside mm -hmm. and in the rights outside is because I don't know. I think most a lot of Amer American people don't like that no. kind of look, seeing the seaweed and it's don't like the, the taste. taste of it either. It's too strong. But I think this way, this is the traditional way. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Super, super delicious. This one. Yeah, I think one reason why we don't do this outdoors is because it's too hot in Miami, you know? Outdoor? Yeah, in Miami it's too hot. We never do this. We never get a chance to do this. <laughs> if we were in Miami now, it'd be like hot and humid. It's just barbecue. Yeah. Barbecue. Oh, it's yeah. beautiful. Oh, for me, thank you so much. Oh, take a look. Mm. Finally, someone here, here all making sushi for you. <laughs> Besides, you're making it for yourself. Mm. Taco, thank you so much for bringing us to the spot. Actually, to not only catch the tuna that you caught today, which was incredible because a lot of boats that came into shore and none of them caught anything. And you saw from the video earlier, schools and schools of tons of tuna. And Hugh had it on top, but finally, luck came through. So like you said in your video, three for three, we got lucky. Had a wonderful time, Hero, right? Today he got the bluefin tuna. Bluefin tuna, I man. <laughs> I have zero today. <laughs> well, you know what that only says? That's going to be continued. Okay? You got the first round. Yeah. Next time we'll get the second round and we'll make something delicious again. And uh, it's been great with you, working with you and doing the collab. Well, anyway, amazing three days. Thank you very much for to take us to the, uh, you know, all the amazing uh, spot. Fishing, you know? And then later we coming down from San Francisco to San Diego. You know, we went to the fishing from early in the morning. Yeah. And now his channel over hundred thousand subscribers. Today. Today while we're fishing. Congratulations, yes. man. Thank you so much. And now you're on the road to a million, which I know you're gonna get there really, really quick. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> if you're not following his channel already, the information is down below. Make sure you check it out. You can see some incredible sushi recipes. This guy is the real deal. And if you ever get stuck in a bind and there's no fresh food, fresh food around, look this gentleman up. He'll make sushi out of anything. <laughs> <laughs> Except an isopod, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. All right, Taku. Thank you. Take care, man. We'll see you soon again. Bye-bye. See you soon. <laughs>